Holy heck, we just checked out Justice League. I'm Ryan. And I'm Trent. And we are Movie Nerds. <laughs> If this is your first time here and you want to know a little bit more about movies, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything here at Movie Nerds. Okay guys, so the basic premise of the movie, Batman and Wonder Woman are putting a team of heroes together to try and save the world from this unspeakable evil from a distant planet in Steppenwolf and the Parademons. That's pretty much it. Simple as that. Yeah. yeah. Superman's dead, or is he? We don't know. Um, but what do you think of the movie? Now. I actually liked it. This is the first DC movie I've liked ever. And it's... Ever? It, ever. Yeah. Right. Fair well, enough. Well, if we, uh, from the DCEU, not the old stuff. The old stuff. That's fantastic. right. I didn't have anything against Sorry. Michael Keaton. That's fine. No, Keaton's fantastic. <laughs> but this is, the, this, is the, this is the best of the bunch. Best of a bad bunch, I think. Sure. Everything's, everything's flowing much better. There's still major glaring issues yeah, that yeah. you can see, but I really enjoyed it. It was a fun movie. Awesome. I think there was a lot of things wrong with the fact that I mean, you can't blame him, but um, Zack Snyder left the film uh, just after the movie had kind of finished production and it was going to pre-production. Then Joss Whedon took over and Joss decided that, you know, some of this isn't going to work. Some executives apparently had seen it and said this isn't working at all. Um, and he came back in and did some reshoots. And some of those reshoots in... in uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but if you don't know he's in the movie, then you're just crazy. But Superman is obviously in the movie. Uh, and those reshoots included Henry Cavill. And Henry Cavill at the time had a mustache. Yes. Mustache, mustache, how do you say it? And legally, they couldn't get rid of it. So they had to bring in CGI for this thing to yes. delete it. And my God, is it obvious. It's terrible. The opening of the movie is a sequence where Henry Cavill's talking, or sorry, Superman Clark Kent is talking to screen. And they used a shot that doesn't have the moustache or has been digitally removed yes. and it's so obvious it's glaring his lip is ridiculously thin there's very little facial movements and his in the teeth door. are weird it's, yeah it's just really awkward and stuff like that happens throughout the whole whole movie and to open it up like that i kind of just had this glaring thing where i would just notice the whole movie that yeah. this is a different bit anyway look the most the better part of this movie i quite enjoyed yeah. it was just the glaring issues that the different directors came in but you can't blame them no. joss uh zach snyder had family issues and family problems which are massive and that's cool um but overall the movie was good yeah i had issues with it what were yours my issue is snyder i i don't like snyder's movies i never will watchman was terrible 300 everything he has the same glaring issues. Dawn of the dead no, didn't you like hurt it. my feelings a lot in these reviews. I'm I not know, gonna lie. I'm sorry. Because I learn a lot about you in them, yes. and you tell me things that I don't want to hear, and that's fine. It's your opinion. Yes. I don't agree, but it's your opinion. But no, I, I just think his glossy, really muddy, murky tone. It's, There's a lot of confusing elements in what you just said, but I'll accept it. Glossy it, it's, and muddy. It's glossy and muddy. Everything's really shiny and CGI'd. It just doesn't. Okay. It doesn't blend well. It doesn't mix well. It's glaringly obvious that it's fake. Steppenwolf himself. For, for someone being such a big bad, and it concerns me when Darkseid's going to come in eventually, yeah. he looked atro atrocious. He looked yeah. like Ares from Wonder Woman. Yeah, fair and enough. And that was not good at all. No, I mean, you've gone with, with Steppenwolf. If you've seen the trailer, you've probably seen him uh, close with his face. His face is very human. Yeah. It's, it's very organic and human, but it's not. It's no. alien. Why don't they just make it like a, um, a, a bit of prosthetics? Like, rather than making it CGI, just make it prosthetics like there's no reason for him to be cgi no. other than him being you know eight foot tall but you know they did gandalf and lord of the rings 10 years ago why can't we do this now why are we using cgi when we don't need to and that put me off too i agree but what about comedy i mean this movie was hilarious i mean well yeah. to a degree I and mean, we had the flash and he is a really funny character barry allen uh what do you think i loved it whedon you can tell his humor straight away yeah absolutely it, it seemed awkward at times when Obviously, with a the reshoots, forced, yeah. but it was a breath of fresh air into an otherwise gloomy and murky. Yeah, world. I think I think the the relationship that Flash has with all the different characters is really hilarious. Yeah. Um, I love a lot of the sequences with him him in the movie, and I think he actually made the movie. And without him in it, I don't think it would be the same film. Yeah. Um, ben Affleck is also really good as Batman. Yeah. Uh, Wonder love Woman is of course amazing as Wonder Woman. Sorry, Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. is amazing as Wonder Woman. Of she course. is Wonder Woman. Yeah, of course yeah. she is. And Jason Momoa is awesome as Aquaman. What about Cyborg? That's where I was going. Oh, that's where you were going. I didn't like him. I, he brought nothing to the movie. The set is being disabled behind us. That's fine. That's right. <laughs> but in, um, in the meantime, I need to just pat you on the back. Yeah. 
I hate Cyborg with a passion. Great, he's a stupid character. He is a stupid character. I would have preferred Martian Manhunter in this, but no, we didn't get that. We got the new 52 version with, uh, with uh, Cyborg. Mopey Cyborg. Mopey Cyborg. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I died and now I've been brought back in my mechanical suit and I'm so upset about it. This man, this monster. Dude, you can like go on the internet. Imagine how much like porn and stuff that guy could do without anyone knowing. But he doesn't have it's the a great life. He doesn't, but he no. could make one, I'm sure. Because remember, he had feeling in his toes, right? Yeah, so surely we'd have feeling somewhere. Japanese We're getting a little mind. bit weird, <laughs> but I liked it nonetheless. Cyborg was really weird. Yeah, he, he was a very mopey character, and I don't yeah. think these movies, when they're like a big team, need it. I think, I think like Thor Ragnarok really worked because you had Thor and everyone was just trying to be silly. They were like a bit goofy and they were fun. Um, and this movie just had old Cyborg being mopey all the time. And he was a very prominent character. He was in yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, he was actually useful. Normally he just sits at the watchtower doing absolute stuff all. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was your best part of the movie? Without spoiling anything for people. Oh, post credit scene. There's two. Just oh keep my your eye god. Out. The second post credit scene is noteworthy. Yep. We can't spoil it, but stay for the end of the credits, please. It is one of the best end, end credit sequences probably I've ever seen. Anything that Marvel does, it beats and destroys. Yep. Um, this is unreal. It's, it's setting up something and it's going to set up something amazing. I can't yep. wait for to see what, where it's going. Um, but my favorite bit was, I mean, as we said, Superman's obviously in the film, yes. um, was the connection he made with Flash and their repertoire between each other was absolutely great. Yep. Um, and Superman is Superman in this movie. He's, he's bright, he's colorful, he's happy. Justice, um, hope. Truth, the he's everything way. that he needs he's to be. Right, big blue boy scout. And he, I think, I think it's the Superman that Joss, Joss Whedon made, and not yeah. that Zack Snyder made. No, you could tell there was color scheme differences. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, what was what was what was your worst part then? Uh, my, my, aside from Cyborg, my worst part was probably oh, the opening. The start. Okay. Yeah. The start was really slow. It was very trailerish. Yeah, we did a lot of the things that happened in the start were in the initial trailers, so yeah. it kind of felt like we were just retreading old ground. Yeah, yeah, I completely and agree. Yeah. They could have gotten to the point more. And actually didn't think Momoa was as good as Aquaman that I thought he was going to Come be. Oh man, this guy is Aquaman. No one wants to see this Aquaman. He didn't talk to fish. True, he didn't do any kind he of do kind he of did fish nothing. thing. Yeah, he, he did, did nothing. He did the nothing of Aquaman that would normally do. You're right, right. A very good point. I didn't really think about it too much, but you make a very good point. Um, My worst part was the CGI over yeah. um, Clark Kent and Superman's lips. It was so obvious and I couldn't help but see it every time it happened. And there was other things that would this happened too, like uh, the Flash's Ezra Miller. He had a different haircut every reshot. Yeah. Ben Affleck must have gained weight because every shot that he was in, he was fatter and that's fine. And his hair went grey. Nothing, yeah, and his hair went yeah. really grey. Um, so, you know, it, I don't know, I guess there's nothing really they could have done. But it was just so obvious that it pulled me out of the film every time, and that's why I didn't like that part of the movie. So, is it any good? I'm gonna say yes. For, for what it is, it's don't go in looking for a really deep plot. Steppenwolf talks about mother boxes and kind of stuff that if you're not a comic fan or a New Gods fan, Kirby fan, you wouldn't have a clue what's going on. But it is a really fun romp of a movie. It is fun. It's really, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Look, it's barely gonna get a yes from me, but. It gets over the line with a lot of the comedy and the action sequences in it. It does a lot better than what Batman v Superman did with that kind of action. Yeah. Uh, it's poos and shits all over um, Suicide Squad, uh, but it, probably not as good as Wonder Woman. It's in the same line and I didn't love Wonder Woman either, but it's good. It's worthwhile seeing it and I would definitely check it out in the cinema. My name is Ryan. And I'm Trent. And we'll check you out next time we're at the cinema. See you soon.